get your magnifying glasses out because it's time to find some hidden objects. Hidden in My Paradise is a cozy hidden object game where you play as a photographer's apprentice trying to find different objects and recreate photos. In this video, we'll be taking a first sip of the game and giving an overview of what the demo is like and any information we have about the release. This is something we do regularly here at the Indie Brew, so make sure to hit that subscribe button for more indie game content. Without further ado, let's take a sip of this demo game. Hidden in My Paradise is you take on the role of Lali, the photographer apprentice. The demo unfortunately doesn't actually give us any story. There's a little bit woven into the design of the scenes, but otherwise you're kind of left wanting. Now we know that there is a story and there is a brief outline on the Steam page for what we can expect. And it really does sound promising. So I'm keen to see where the story takes us in the full game but there isn't unfortunately any story in the demo. The gameplay of Hidden in My Paradise is hidden object at its finest. Taking a cuter spin on the genre, you'll have a certain amount of objects to locate in each level, as well as some photos to recreate. You'll need to locate each item, ensuring you look behind all the buildings, trees, and inside boxes or crates to find them all. Now, one of the great features about this game is that there are no timers, so there's no pressure to find all of the objects within a certain time frame, and it definitely means that it feels a lot more cozy. You can pick up each item, which comes in handy if things are hidden, and it's the functionality you'll need to be able to recreate the photos. The photos each feature a different scene to recreate, and you'll need to set the scene, ensuring all of the elements are there, and then take the perfect snap to complete the recreation process. There's only two levels in the demo, which was kind of underwhelming until I discovered the sandbox area. The sandbox area allows you to create your own levels, but you can also upload them to the public area and download other people's creations to play too. This is a huge win for the game as it essentially creates user generated levels and there is so many to choose from already even though the game's still just a demo. I was really impressed with the general functionality of the game in the demo and I'm so excited to see more content added to the full game. The design of this game is absolutely adorable. Featuring a cute cartoon style full of color and adorable animals, the game just looks and feels cute. I really loved all the different elements that are currently in the game with some really cute items that set a great scene to find an object in. The ability to change the scene's color palette is a cool feature and the little animations that go with the items really bring them to life. The soundtrack is cute and cozy and I love the little sound effects when you click on different items. This is definitely a cute game that fits right into the cozy wholesome genre and I can't wait to see the item and decor catalog expanded in the full game. Hidden in My Paradise is a great cozy pick with some great gameplay functionality. The online library of user generated levels expands the demo from just two levels to literally endless amounts and you can easily spend a lot of time just playing the demo of this game. For a first sip this is one that goes down a treat and I can't wait to see what's to come in the full game. That is a wrap on this first sip of Hidden in My Paradise. The demo is available to play now on Steam so go check it out and make some levels for me to play. If you're looking for more indie game recommendations click here and until next time stay caffeinated.